lot of reasons to be positive on the energy infrastructure space into 2023. And the dividend story for the midstream space is as strong as it's ever been. Companies are growing their dividends again, and we see generous yields across the space. The underlying index for the Alarian MLP ETF was yielding 7.4% as of early February. The underlying index for the Alarian Energy Infrastructure ETF, ticker ENFR, was yielding 6.3% as of early February. So generous yields being backed by strong trends for dividend growth. We also see the free cash flow theme for this space very much intact. That's been a tailwind over the last two years. Companies are spending a lot less, they're generating excess cash flow, and they're using that excess cash flow for dividend increases and buybacks. Also at the company level, we expect modest EBITDA growth for the space this year, probably around 3% or so, uh, which is you know, what you would expect from stable fee-based businesses. And I think you know, is another kind of positive element to the story, whereas many other energy subsectors are probably gonna see lower earnings on weaker commodity prices. You know, from a macro perspective, I think the environment is going to be very supportive for the midstream space. I think energy markets are gonna remain tight and they're probably going to get tighter as the year goes on. And I think that'll help sentiment for the space broadly. Um, also from a macro perspective, we expect modest production growth in the US for both oil and natural gas. That's a good thing for this space. Uh, it keeps prices at attractive levels that are supportive for sentiment. Uh, and it also helps companies maintain capital discipline and keep that capital spending low. So they are generating that free cash flow. And then finally, we also see inflation as an ongoing tailwind for this space. Um, Midstream has shown over the last two years that it can work well in environments of high inflation. So we certainly see ongoing elevated inflation as a tailwind, uh, not only because these companies have real asset exposure, but also because they often have inflation adjustments built in their contracts. So to kind of sum all of that up, I think there's a lot of reasons to like Midstream in 2023 from both a company level perspective with free cash flow, increasing dividends, buybacks, but also from a macro perspective and just the ongoing strength in energy markets and ongoing inflation as well. So all that to say, you have the midstream energy infrastructure space is really well positioned heading into 2023.